Greetings, future literary detectives. Get ready to hone your skills in uncovering textual gems and crafting inferences like seasoned investigators. It's time to elevate your reading prowess by extracting evidence straight from the words and constructing intricate inferences that illuminate the depth of meaning. Imagine you're a seasoned detective examining the text like a treasure map. As you scrutinize these words, you might uncover textual evidence that hints at the atmosphere and setting up a scene. The room was dimly lit, casting long shadows across the worn furniture. Dive deeper with your magnifying glass and focus on phrases like dimly lit and long shadows. These are the textual gems, the pieces of evidence that paint a vivid picture of the environment. Imagine not only reading words, but also deciphering their implications. In a narrative, a character might glance at their watch repeatedly. Interpreting this action is constructing an inference about the character's impatience, anxiety, or eagerness to leave. As the meaning droned on, Sarah's gaze repeatedly flicked to her watch. She shifted in her seat, tapping her fingers on the table. Her foot tapped rhythmically on the floor, a silent echo of impatience. Picture yourself as a puzzle solver, linking textual pieces to form an inference. Consider the scenario on the whiteboard. By analyzing these details, you're crafting an inference about the character's hidden emotions. As he stood in the doorway, his clenched fist and furrowed brow contradicted the serene smile on his face. His voice remained even, but his eyes held an intensity that hinted at a simmering anger beneath his calm facade. Imagine the threads as textual evidence woven together to showcase the bigger picture. As you blend phrases like clenched fists and furrowed brow, you unravel the complex emotions beneath the character's exterior. Let's spotlight remarkable work by Alex. Through meticulous analysis, Alex unveiled a profound inference about the character's complex motives. Bravo, Alex! Text excerpt. As John walked through the crowded streets, his gaze fixed on the ground. His shoulders slumped, and he barely acknowledged the people around him. In this passage, John's downward gaze and slumped shoulders suggest a deep sense of sadness. The lack of interaction with others indicates his emotional isolation and preoccupation with his thoughts. This hints at an underlying internal struggle that the author is subtly communicating. Let's spotlight remarkable work by Alex. Through meticulous analysis, Alex unveiled a profound inference about the character's complex motives. Bravo, Alex. Text excerpt. The mirror reflected Clara's disheveled appearance. Her eyes, once vibrant, now held a hint of uncertainty as she faced her reflection. The mirror serves as a symbol of self-discovery and introspection in this passage. Clara's disheveled appearance reflects her internal turmoil, while her uncertain gaze suggests a moment of self-doubt. This symbolic scene signifies Clara's journey of confronting her inner conflicts and seeking her true identity. Your mission, to dissect intricate plots, decipher symbolic journeys, or unravel narratives, keep those analytical lenses polished. The text conceals intricacies, and you possess the intellect to unveil them. The teacher entered the room, her expression stern and her footsteps heavy. The class hushed immediately, and no one dared to make eye contact. Even the usual whispers had vanished into thin air. Sarah's response, since the class was hushed without a whisper, I believe the class might be in trouble. 